Okay, so NVIDIA's upcoming releases of the RTX 5060 and RTX 5050 represents a calculated strategic move to solidify their position in the budget gaming segment. The company has consistently demonstrated its uh, understanding of market dynamics, and these new additions to the RTX 50 series appears to be no exception, with the GPU market becoming increasingly competitive, especially in the sub-$300 range. NVIDIA seems to be responding to both consumer demand for more affordable options and the growing presence of uh, competitors like Intel's Arc series. The technical specifications of these new GPUs uh, suggests a thoughtful approach to balancing performance and the power consumption. The RTX 5060 with its expected 8 GBs of VRAM appears positioned to offer a notable performance upgrade over previous generations while uh, maintaining energy efficiency. Meanwhile, the RTX 5050 with a slightly lower 135 watts TDP but similar VRAM capacity seems designed to compare directly with uh, Intel's Arc B580 in the lower price bracket. This dual approach allows NVIDIA to address different segments of the budget market simultaneously. Well, if we talk about price, uh, this strategy appears to be a crucial element of uh, NVIDIA's plan for these GPUs. The RTX 5060 is expected uh, $300, actually $299 price point, uh, positions it as a compelling option for gamers seeking performance without breaking the bank, while the RTX 5050's rumored range of $199 to $249 makes it accessible to even more budget-conscious consumers. This pricing structure not only appeals to existing NVIDIA loyalists, but also has the potential to attract new customers who might have previously considered alternatives from AMD or Intel. Now, if we talk about performance, what do you think? Performance expectations for these GPUs are shaped by NVIDIA's historical improvements between generations and the architectural advantages of their Blackwell series. The RTX 5060 is likely to deliver significant performance gains over the RTX 3060, especially in ray-traced gaming scenarios where NVIDIA's technological leadership remains strong. For the RTX 5050, performance expectations are more modest but still promising particularly for 1080p gaming with the medium to high settings. The inclusion of a DLSS 4 technology across both models would further enhance their value proposition by allowing for higher frame rates without compromising visual fidelity. The potential market impact of these releases cannot underestimate in a market where AMD has been gaining traction with its uh, RDNA 4 architecture and Intel has made strides with uh, its Arc series, NVIDIA's entry-level offerings could uh, disrupt the current balance. The RTX 5050 is direct competition with Intel's Arc B580 may force Intel to uh, reconsider its pricing strategy or accelerate development of uh, follow-up products. Similarly, AMD's rumored uh, RX 9050 and uh, RX 9060 releases later in 2025 will likely be influenced by NVIDIA's pricing and features set for these new GPUs. So, let's talk about conclusion. NVIDIA's approach with the RTX 5060 and RTX 5050 demonstrates a clear understanding of the evolving GPU market landscape by offering compelling performance at accessible price points while maintaining technological advantages in areas like ray tracing and AI upscaling. NVIDIA has positioned itself to maintain market leadership in a budget segment. For consumers, this means more choices and potentially better value proposition in the coming months as these new GPUs hit the market and complete for attention in increasingly crowded space. Thank you so much for watching this video till here. If this video helped you out, please consider like and subscribe to our channel and uh, take care of yourself until the next time. Bye-bye.